Fellow Americans, so it has happened. Who would have thought that a billionaire from New York would lead the revolution? But it's happening. And we have to get behind him. We have to get behind Donald Trump. This is how this is going to play out. Donald Trump is going to take them on, one by one. And we have to back him up and bring him down. That's how it's going to play out. We can't take him on, all of them, at the same time. So it has to be sequential, one at a time. Donald has taken down all the other candidates uh, from the GOP, the Republican Party. And now Ted Cruz fell like a shot down duck. Next up is Hillary. I have no doubts at all that Donald is going to take down Hillary massively, big time. She has nothing to stand up against his pointing out the truth that she is crooked. She is crooked, Hillary. The thing is that when you point out the truth unapologetically, things fall apart. It implodes. They are set up in a web of lies. And when you point out those lies, when you bring those lies out in the light, it implodes. It has no vitality. The reason why the system is held up as well as it has been for a long time is that there's a checks and balances in this web of lies and power structures. And when you have someone that's just outside these power structures, it falls apart because they have no grip on it. They have no grip on Donald. So Donald's going to take him on one by one. He's going to take on Hillary. He's going to take on the Democrats. He's going to take on the Republican Party and their rigged rules and all of that. Once he's president, he's going to take them on one by one. I don't know what sequence he will use, who's going to go first, who's second, who's last. I have a suspicion that he will take down the easy targets first. That's like the Republican Party, uh, their voting rules, and everyone who's now been working against him, and all the dirty laundry that we've seen come up during the campaign. Then he's going to work his way up. And why not take the easy targets first, the sure things, like the media, like the New York Times, like other media outlets, like the TV networks, all of that, and then move on higher and higher in the hierarchy of lies and power structures, ending up with the really big ones, the ones that are too big even to mention now, because, you know, the blowback will just be too vast, even on me. But there's some power structures that are immense, that are ruling the world. And if we take on that, if Donald takes on that, we have to get behind him. So the thing is, in the sequence that Donald decides, we will back him up, taking down and bringing down those power structures. Say that Donald says that, you know, let's take on the New York Times. We will know when it happens. Then we have to get behind it. You know, show up at the New York Times offices. You know, sit down there and start screaming and shouting. Point out to them what kind of liars and crooks they are. Bring your car down. Park a big truck outside their parking lot in Manhattan so nobody can get in or, or out. You know, we have to get as much force behind every attack that we're now going to do for the next few years so that we'll bring him down. It will just be such hard blows that they cannot resist it. We'll bring them down one by one. So summon the forces, summon, talk to your friends, talk to your neighbors, you know, get the Tea Party movement up and going, get all those forces up and going and let them be ready to take down these people and these power structures one by one. It's going to be so much fun. And this is, this is reinforcing, you know, it's, it's energizing itself. We are, we are summoning dormant forces that have been dormant for a long time. And now when these forces that have seen this crookery and these lies and all of this political correctness develop for so long, now that everyone sees that we have a chance to break all that down, it's going to call up immense forces. This is going to be so powerful and we just have to push on. This is not just 
some incremental change. This is not just another politician. This is a revolution. This is calling up the kind of forces that have been suppressed by the system for so long. And now we're boiling up and now it's a big blowback for all these political correct people, this institutionalized people, these terrible people that we just want to get rid of. The worst kind of people, the, the kind of people from school that you remember that sort of that, that grew up to be the politicians. We're going to have a purge of all of them. Out with all of them. Let them find proper real jobs. I say we do like the people in Iceland that are now saying they want the pirate party and they want people in the pirate party that aren't politicians. You know, that's the qualification that you haven't been a politician before because then they can have honest people that don't have the experience but they have the honesty to go in and change the system. And that's what we need. I hope and I believe that Donald Trump will choose people in his administration that aren't crooked politicians from before. He might have some advisors that know the system, but honest new people into the system and let's purge the system for all those crooked politicians that have been running the show for so long. Let's purge it. Let's kick them out. All of them, you know? Let's, let's really be hard about this. All of them out because the kind of people that are in the system now are the, just the kind of people that we don't want. It's the most rotten people. The ones that rise to the top in the political parties are the rotten ones, the crooked ones, the ones that play the rules. Everyone who wants to go by the truth who wants to bring out fairness and justice are washed out of the system. There's a very sophisticated process in every country how this goes about. They're washed out and the ones that end up on the top are the crooked ones that know how to play and game the system. Let's kick out all of them. Really, all of them. And they are afraid. They are, believe me, they are really afraid. They are seeing this happening. And we need to get behind this. This needs to be such a strong, momentous force. This needs to really be a revolution to kick them out. I'm so excited about this. I've been working for this revolution for so long. I was part of the two last Ron Paul campaigns, and I be really believe that the constitutionalist, an honest guy like Ron Paul, was the right guy to be the next president. That didn't work. Okay, so we tried it. We tried the nice way. Now we have to try it the hard way and the tough way with Donald Trump. So with Donald Trump as president, He's going to point out the power structures. He's going to point out the things that are wrong. It's going to be a huge shakeup. And then it's up to us to build a new and better structure after that. That's when the real job begins. When all the crooked people are washed out, when the purge is completed, then we need to build a new system of honest people, honest politicians, new people into the system, wash out all the old establishment media and all of them just, just get, get rid of that and have a new force a new beginning this is so exciting I'm super excited about this and everyone should be as well to get behind this this is a once in a lifetime opportunity that this should happen at the height of my career at the height of who I am as a person and as a man that I can be part of this is just super amazing I'm so energized about this so let's get behind it let's make this a movement let's shake things up let's purge the system let's renew the system look at the constitutions of the countries at, in the US and the countries of Europe, that's our guideline. You know, the system was better before, so we don't need to figure out something new. Let's use the system that we have, the truth, the honesty that was part of past generations and build something new on that. I'm Hans Johansson, reporting out of Oslo, Norway. I'm super excited. Thank you.